Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's July the 18th, another glorious day, full sunshine. The delphiniums behind me are looking fantastic. But something a little bit different today. So today I'm going to uh, show you around my neighbour's small home just over there. So let's go and have a look around. Okay, so just sweeping round. So this is our back fence here. And uh, so that's his tool shed. And just behind you've got like a bit of a storage area and that's uh, his water butts. There's no actual tap on the site so uh, I was explaining to him yesterday there's lots of videos on YouTube about making siphons. So I'll have to try and guide him to the, there's quite a lot of videos there, people have done that. So I think here are autumn fruiting raspberries. And then he made these frames last year. And there's onions, beets, lettuces, that sort of stuff. He's got summer fruiting raspberries there. I'm not sure what that is. It's chard maybe that's gone to seed. I don't know whether he's collecting the seed. Here he's got a whole bed of brassicas. So we've uh, kale. That looks like the is at the Nero de Toscana. Very healthy looking caviar. Looks like uh, maybe had a little bit of pigeon, but he doesn't. He only netted them when they were small. That looks like pigeon damage to me. And then we've got like uh, sprouts, some cauliflowers perhaps, but they are really healthy looking. These look like summer cabbage. And then the shallots. And then his main crop onions. Let's notice there's one or two gone to seed there. And here we've got uh, sweet peas at the far end. Some, looks like Webb's wonderful lettuce there. And then one of the beans here. He was explaining that the sparrows have been causing havoc with his peas, they've just been pulling them out. And then uh, he's got two rows of broad beans just here. Probably almost ready for harvesting, I think. Uh, just That's his compost pile. And then the greenhouse, he put that up uh, over the winter, I do believe. I don't think he's had time to actually get anything in it yet, but at least he's got, got the thing up, so that's good. And then over here, there's some mint and uh, some asparagus. So now we're in, we've come through from the vegetable garden into the uh, where he keeps his poultry. There's the man himself. He doesn't really want to be on film where I've just sneaked him a shot. And he's uh, got all his water supply for the geese and ducks down there. This bit here was an old orchard. Um, so some of these trees you can see are just still clinging on. Um, but they're probably certainly over a hundred years old. But there are a couple of like this walnut tree, for example. He recalls this being planted and it's a fine tree. Not sure if there's any fruit on it, but it's a lovely tree. And actually I've been he's been trying to replant it, so I've been grafting trees for him. So you can see the uh, fruit trees with the uh, protect because he's trying to get the height up so that the, uh, the geese and the ducks and everything can graze underneath. And he's slowly being successful. I think one of the problems he's had is that uh, crows and stuff keep landing on the young branches and snapping them. But they get in there now. 
again that must be a really old tree so there's various types of poultry I, I don't know the names of them or anything uh, these trees are looking good you can see he's got new trees dotted around a whole bunch down there and then uh, he's got a couple in front here hello there so this <laughs> potato patch and looks like he's got leeks just dotted in there And again, lots more fruit trees here. Grafted quite a few over the years. I'm not sure what that is down there, why he's growing it. It looks like barley or something. Maybe it's for grain for the hens. Could be. Looks uh, like he had similar problems with the aphids. I think everybody's had problems with aphids. Here's a nice pear tree. I'm not sure what that one is. It, it could be uh, Comish actually, it looks a bit like. Or is it Williams? Uh, could be Williams, don't know. Looks like he's kind of left a wild bit there for the pollinators. And then he, over there he's got various places for drying onions and storage, things like that. That looks, a, looks like a cherry, that one. Again he's got, uh, you see his emphasis on trees, well he used to be a forester um, until a couple of years ago I think uh, the, the estate where he worked, you know, I've made some changes that weren't to his liking I think. And, Fortunately, uh, I'm not sure what the situation was, but he's not doing it anymore. That's his log pile. And now we're going into a third section here, which is... I'm going to show you what's uh, going on in this bit. So there's kind of a bit of a raised bed there. And it seems to be... Well, I don't know if this is like green manure or something. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, looks like a sweet corn. There's lovely rambling rows right across this fence. And then against this wall, he's doing a fan trained cherry. Um, that's taking shape nicely. Yep. Untrained cherry. And then, pretty sure this is, uh, he's trying to do the same idea with a pear. I'm trying to espalier it because I remember he did a graft, uh, like an interstem graft here, um, a couple of years ago, I think it was. Yeah, and then uh, we put a different variety on. So, I'm not exactly sure what, I know one of them is Williams, I'm not sure what the other one is, whether it's Concord or Conference or something. Uh, you see he's got an arm coming out here. So again, might try popping a bud graft in, that one turned into fruit bud, instead of sending a, a leaf bud to a new growth. So, see if we can do something with that. Whether that's an apple, looks as though it's short or something. And then over here, it's got blueberries, they're looking good. And that looks like some kind of propagation unit. Uh, this looks like his sort of nursery for um, some of the other graphs that we've done. 
so I'm guessing these will be two to three years old I think he likes them on M26 stock see ones here in various I think these might be ones that uh, looks like where the grass haven't taken but the, the stock's still alive so they can be redone and uh, strawberry bed and just like a, a storage area so he's got access there there's been a lot of this going on this year that's that's almost I think that's the same problem that affected my um, my apple trees and, and it looks the same as what happened to the strawberry plants you know they the leaf is not brittle and crisp it's like leathery I don't know what that is but I, I guess it's kind of environmental perhaps now more than a fungal thing I don't know Yeah, he's got, uh, like I said, various uh, storage places, and uh, that'll be that's a great spot for drying onions and what have you. Looks like he's got some hazel drying out under there. So that's a, a long shot of it down, looking down. Beautiful day. Um, that's interesting, I've just noticed that roof, it's got one of those kind of like, um, I don't know what the word for it is now, but like uh, sedum plants on the roof, like a green roof is it they call it? Never noticed that before. Yeah, yeah. hello ladies. That's awesome, I just love that. Uh, plenty of uh, places for him to get out of the sun. Shady. This is a really old tree here, but it's got a lot of fruit on. I guess that's like a where he stores grain and things like that, I suppose. This big boy. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. It's a wonderful place. I think you might jump in there myself after. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour around my uh, neighbour's small holding. Don't forget to uh, smash that like button for me, drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button now and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.